In this lecture, I want to show you the pot life cycle. This is a diagram that I created to give you a better idea of what really happens when you launch a pot. This diagram also shows you the init container that you can use, the post start hook and the pre stop hook. Those you can define in your YAML file, in your pot specification to execute commands at certain points in the lifecycle of the pod. Let's start with the init container. When you define an init container in your pod specification, you can launch a new container that is separate from the main container that will execute some commands. This can be interesting if you have volumes, for example, to do some work on those volumes, set some permissions, create some directories before the main container starts. So this is a completely separate container and the main container will only start after this init container is completed. Then we have the post start hook and the post start hook starts at the same time as the main container. If you define it in your container definition and it starts within the main container. So you can just execute some commands within the main container. Again, if you need to do some work just when the container starts. Then we have the pre stop hook and that one is going to be executed when the container stops. So here again, if you have to do some work when the container stops, then you can use a pre stop hook. We have the main container and within the main container, we can also define the readiness probe and the liveness probe. These readiness probes and liveness probes will only start after the initial delay seconds that you define as well in your probes. So the moment that your main container starts, this initial delay seconds will delay the readiness probe and the liveness probe because often your app needs some time to start to connect to a database and it doesn't make sense to immediately start a probe, but often it only makes sense after a couple of seconds to then start checking whether the app is working. So this is the pot lifecycle. Now let's go over the different states. When the container is running the init container, then you will see in the describe, if you go and take a look at the conditions that initialized is still false, ready is still false, but the pod is scheduled. So the pod is scheduled, the init container is running. It means that initialized is false. Then after the post start hook is executed, initialized will be true. It will still not be ready. And the pod scheduled is still true. The reason why it's not ready is because the readiness probe hasn't executed. So if we have a readiness probe, only after the readiness probe returns success, then we have initialized true, ready true, and then the pot is scheduled. And then the pot is live, it will be added to the service and traffic will be routed to this pot. In the next demo, I will launch a container that has all these elements in it so that you can see them being executed.